Peace and blessings, Yasharel. Shalom. There are times when I sit and let my spirit speak to the Most High, to Yahuwah. And then I hear his spirit speak back. 400 years are over. Many of us think that it'll happen all in an instant because the word says it'll fall in one day. And it is a day. But you have to remember, and this is what the spirit gave to me. Just as the day of Yasharel and Yahudah's fall came, there was a day of our fall. When you think about it, it didn't happen in one day, in one year. We were taken, we were captured over a period of time. And in that day, we were brought to the lands of our captivity, scattered all over the earth in that day. In that day. That day being in that time. The day of our restoration, the day our captivity comes to an end, is a time. A time. Just as we were broken down and brought into captivity. That day being a time frame. So is the day of our restoration, the day that we return. It's a time. And with thine own eyes thou shalt see the sinner's reward. Think about it. When we were in the land of Egypt, and Egypt's time, and the 10 plagues came. They did not come in one day, but in that day, what day? That time of their end, so that Yasharel could be freed from the Egyptian captive, captivity. It's the same now, that day, that time, we're in that seeing it come to an end. It's a time frame. The breaking down of the nation that dishonored God went above and beyond. We can't even use the slavery spoken about in the Bible as a comparative. Although many tried. Many tried. And although enslavement is in the Bible, it's in scriptures, there's also a rule for it. And the enslavement and the captivity, the dehumanization of Yasharel had nothing to do with the righteous way of keeping slaves. No, it didn't. It was an abomination against mankind. But that day is over. And the day of our restoration is come. Right now, for those of you who do not know it, even the Arctic is on fire. Siberia, the permafrost is ablaze. Why? Because the day of our captivity is over. And we're watching it break down the entire world is in the midst of a calamity. Why? Like tiny seeds, weren't we scattered all over the world? And all those who could prosper from us did. And all over the world, he's shaking it to its foundation. Yes, he is. I kept thinking about Egypt and the ten plagues. But it happened in a day of their destruction, the day of their destruction occurred over a period of time until it came to its culmination. 
10 plagues in the day of, Israel, of Egypt's destruction. 10 plagues. 10 plagues over a period of time in order for Yasha Red to gain their freedom. I was going to read scripture, but I'm flowing right now. I'm flowing. And this is for Yahuda, Yasharel. There's somebody who's looking like I look, listening like I listen. Eyes that see, open thine eyes. Ears that hear, listen. The spirit is speaking from within and confirming it without. I'm going to read a piece to you. And I am in 2nd Esdras, chapter 15. Starting at the third verse. Do not fear the plots against you and do not be troubled by the unbelief of those who oppose you. For all unbelievers shall die in their unbelief. Beware, says the Lord. I am bringing evils upon the world, a sword and famine, death and destruction, because iniquity has spread throughout every land and their harmful doings have reached their limits. Yes. Therefore, says the Lord, I will be silent no longer concerning their ungodly acts that they impiously commit. Neither will I tolerate their wicked practices Innocent and righteous blood cries out to me, and the souls of the righteous cry out continually. We know that's true because when you read in the book of Revelation, the souls of the righteous cry from beneath the altar. I will surely avenge them, says the Lord, and will receive to myself all the innocent blood from among them. See, my people are being led like a flock to the slaughter. I will not allow them to live any longer in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them out with a mighty hand and with an uplifted arm and will strike Egypt with plagues as before. I am in 2nd Esdras chapter 15. And will destroy all its land. I'm going to skip down to verse 16. I'm still in 2nd Ezra chapter 15. For there shall be unrest among the people. Growing strong one against another. They shall in their might have no respect for their king. Or the chief of their leaders. I wonder. Now. Right now. July 2020. How many people. Here in the land of Babylon, have respect for the leaders or the one who sits, that trumpet that assumes a throne in his madness. Hmm. For the sword and misery shall draw near them and nations shall rise up to fight against nation with swords in their hands. For there shall be unrest among the people growing strong against one another. They shall in their might have no respect for their king or the chief of their leaders. For a person will desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. Hmm. I wonder right now, because we're going to bring it into the now. Are we living in a time when if you desire to go into a city, you can are there any restrictions? I wanted to take this further and go deeper, but I have a very short time on this film. I'm trying to keep my train of thoughts because it's full. A desire to go into a city, but you cannot. Hmm. The COVID, that's it. Hmm. If you go, you're 14 days in isolation in some places. I just want to say this because it's a power trip. 
I don't have enough time to get into everything I wanted to get into because, again, this is going to be short. I know my my uh, storage is not going to allow it. But isn't it a form of martial law? Hmm. Just a thought. Many people, I'm doing this for your safety. I'm doing this for your best interest. Isn't it a form of martial law? In this 400th year, martial law. Hmm. Just thought. Now, I'm going back. The Arctic is on fire. <laughs> it's melting. The whole world is upside down. 400 years. And remember, just as in the days of Egypt, the first didn't happen in a day, a 24-hour day. It happened in the day being the time of their deliverance. And everything is shook. It surely is not going to come from a politician, a man with a lie so strong. that That's the only way he knows how to gain position. Hmm. If you're looking for it to come that way, you have eyes that see not, my love. Put not thy trust in flesh and blood or the arm of man, but in the most high. I want to read another piece before my time is up because it's growing short. I'm trying to stay on point, even if I seem to be moving around. This is a message for somebody. We're in that day. We're in that time. The day is a time, and you're watching the destruction. All right? Let me see. I got to get it. I'm wondering if I may have to. Okay, let me see. I'm going to start at 4th Esdras. I am in the 6th chapter, 19th verse. And, wait a minute, 18th verse. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh. Who? The Most High is drawing nigh. Because it's time. We're in that day of our deliverance. It shan't come by the hands of a man, although he uses people as his instruments. Okay? I'm at the 18th verse, 6th chapter, 4th Esdras. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and will visit them that dwell upon the earth and will begin to make inquisitions of them. What they that be, what they be that have hurt unjustly in their unrighteousness. And when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. I'm going to read that again. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth and will begin to make inquisition of them. He's questioning. Justify yourself. Hmm. What they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. Then will I show these tokens, tokens, the signs. The seraphim, the spirits, shall be opened before the expanse, and they shall see all together. And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. Now, I don't have enough time and I know this is going to run out. I'm going to show you pictures of babies that are born around three or four months old and they live. But remember, just as in the day Yasharev was being delivered out of the first Egypt, that day was a time. So shall it be now. And he has drawn nigh. And he's making inquisition. Your deliverer is here. And your day of deliverance has come. But remember that deliverance is a time frame, beloved. Before this runs out, I'm going to say, 
שלום.